Hi, Baxter. My dog's back there. Okay. We're here. Sorry for the uh, starting technical difficulties. I didn't realize my microphone was not uh, plugged in or it, for some reason it wasn't working. But we're good now. I think we're good. Hello. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Today, hopefully, we are getting Twitch affiliate. Last night, I had played... No, we're not. Uh, I'm not playing anybody right now. We are doing uh, analysis today as the um, stuff, as the title says. So uh, if you're here to play, uh, apologies. Uh, we'll do that at some other time, but today is not going to be that time. But uh, I would wish that you'd stay and we'll go over and analyze uh, this, new, this new game that we had from yesterday, uh, which was good. So uh, let's take a look. So... I played someone from my club named Dan Fry. Um, he's just reached the open section, and he's been playing here for a couple of months, and he's getting stronger and stronger each day. So um, I didn't take this particular game too lightly, and um, I decided to play in English against him. And he actually did play the English against me. He was the first person I actually played it English against when I started playing the English at my club a couple of months ago. So it was good to see that he had a chance to play this again and that I had a chance to play him again. So uh, we start with some pretty standard moves. However, this was the first one I thought was odd um, that I really was not expecting. Um, delaying the development of the sea pawn potentially but um yeah i'm gonna put the note in here i don't actually think i have this in my notes um on, at least on this uh maybe i do now i have to check let's see um I don't think you'll be able to see what I'm looking at, and that's okay. Let's go back. C4, E5, Knight C3. Oh, I guess I do. Um, I played it the normal way, and then he played Knight C6. Is that what he played next? G3, Bishop E7. Let's see. No, I don't have his his next move order is weird, um, which is okay. This was not the first odd move. Uh, apologies. This is normal. Um, G3 is pretty typical um, developing move. I'm not going to mark that. This was the first move that was odd. Usually the bishop comes to b4 or c5 um, a lot of times. Um, I've never seen it develop to e7 on move three. So this was new to me. So I just want to make sure I put a note in there on that. Um, I'm able to continue normally. I'm going to assume that he's going to play the next move, which is pretty standard. Um, I get my Botvinnik set up. And this one really um, kind of bothered me. Uh, not really bothered, but uh, this move was different because um, he's breaking an opening principle. By moving uh, a piece more than once. Uh, I thought castling was much better here. And 
and instead of that move, I saw um, new variation, uh, this, 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 and this. five castles so yeah I you know and this is still you know Baxter stop the male person is here so they're gonna freak out <laughs> sorry don't mind the dogs uh, Baxter and Frank like to bark at the male person when they come and <laughs> come to the door um, I saw that this was pretty normal. These are pretty standard lines. Um, some of my ideas are um, like that. It's pretty normal. So if they end up taking, it's bad uh, with this knight anyways. But um, yeah, normal stuff. So we can go back. I, you know, I didn't understand why I didn't castle here. It didn't really, really make a lot of sense. Um, I felt like this was not a mistake, but um, most certainly an inaccuracy. Yeah, I mean, you have a chance to castle castle right you know uh, why move a piece again i think he was expecting that maybe i couldn't move my knight to where i wanted to but i'm able to do that so it really doesn't matter much um i continue with my plan um Yeah, so, you know, I'm continuing my plan. I'm trying to get castled and complete my development, and that's all fine. And then I, saw, I, th I thought this was a weird move, too. Um... So instead of that, you know, castling and then, you know, takes, takes. I saw this as a potential line. I think this is pretty much fine for both players. Uh, it's locks in his bishop a little bit, but I think it's. I think we're okay. Um, actually, that is not what I saw. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. That's exactly what I saw. Um, I think it's unclear, but um, obviously there's a lot of game left. Um, D3 has...
Okay, um, let's see, what can we mark this as? Um, I feel like this is, it's unclear, or, I mean, it's, it's probably equal. Um, I feel like black gained enough of an advantage to probably keep some tension. Um, but, I don't know, I think it's interesting. It's an interesting line. Frank, Baxter, come on buddies, hey. All right, so let's go back. Let's go back. Um, but yeah, he played this instead, which is fine. Um, I'm gonna get king castled, king safety. That's okay. And um, C6. Um, this was an interesting move as well. He still can castle here, so I don't really understand why he's delaying so much. Um... So my only thought was at this point that he must be consider wanting to consider going queenside, but playing c6 doesn't really kind of meet that. Um, maybe cast along, but I have expected seeing d6 instead yeah I don't I'm not sure you know um, so instead of this move this move new variation and I'm just gonna complete my development castles um, nope I don't want that move delete after delete variation oh shoot um, New variation, uh, complete my development, castles, h3, bishop h6, or bishop e6, and we'll continue from here. Um, it's unclear. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they're doing uh, maybe c6 and then d6 after but uh, it's it's certainly weird um, I'm not sure why he did that at all kind of odd right okay so he played c6 um, I put my variation in past that h3 um, is a typical defensive move uh, it's, it's keeping a lot of control of the g4 square um, so he can't come there with his knight or his bishop um, to cause pins and since since this knight This is a critical move to play because uh, you're keeping any pieces that might be coming in G4. Um, you've got a little bit of weakness around your king, but this kind of stops all of the all of plans. Uh, 
Um, I probably could have played d3 here straight away because the bishop can't come here, but it made me a little nervous not stopping that, so maybe it's okay. I'm not sure. Knight takes. And I was expecting this move. Oh my gosh. So a different move here would be this, new variation, here, and then here, and, and we would continue on. And it's still unclear, um, a lot of game to be played. Normal development though. Um, so here I had two options. I had queen takes, um, and I also saw this move, but I didn't like it for some reason. Um, I saw this, 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 and this. and I feel like this is better for black um, yeah I don't like this actually I'm gonna start marking this with DG for during game because I want I should probably go back to all of these um, DG so I'm putting in um, notes as all the notes that I saw during the game That way when I go back and look at it, um, cause I'm not doing a first, I'm just doing my first pass on what I did in the game and what I saw in the game. Um, and then when we go back and analyze it afterwards, then I'll put annotation. Um, or if this was in post, um, I'll put P PS there or something, or PM for postmortem. Um, but I think DG during game is, is perfect. Uh oh, what happened? I made something mad. There we go. Um, DG. Okay. Uh, that way I can, when I'm looking at my, my games afterwards, I can. Um, Say, okay, this is what I was thinking during the game. Here's what I saw after the game. And see if there's any problems with any of that type of thinking anywhere. Um, DG. I meant to do this from the start, so I apologize. Whoops.
you guys get to see all my notes, which is nice. Um, okay, I think we're caught up, DG. So at the beginning of this game, I think what we'll do is um, Um, hours before the round. So, the, I mean, I want to put this note in because it's, it's, this is pretty normal. Um, sometimes this happens where pairings change before in the game and you have to kind of roll with it and, but that can change your mindset. So it's important to make sure that you go through that and um, mark it down. And then um, DG equals during game thoughts, PM postmortem discussion. And then, which we didn't have many. Um, there was m mainly at the end, he didn't really want to go back and talk about the rest of the game, but we did a, a brief ports modem and then um, annotations after the game. So that way it can actually see my notes. Um, okay, let's get back to where we were. Okay, oh, we went a little bit far. Um, queen to e7. So, um, yeah, here I saw this line as an issue, um, which was not awesome. But what I didn't realize is I, well, I actually saw the other way too. Um, Knight um, here, and then this way. New variation, takes, 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 um, same. DG, so we can go to here um, and Copy, we'll do this, paste, because I saw the same thing on both of those, um, but didn't really like them. So um, what I did not consider though was after 92 and D5 was just taking New variation. Um, sorry. Uh, was taking with a new variation. Um, new variation here. E takes d5, e takes d5. Actually, okay, so this is kind of messed up. So delete variation. Um, all right. And then here, and then bam. I did not consider this move. Um, it, this move is annotation-wise. Um, no, uh, Austin Chess Pro, thanks for uh, chatting and coming. But uh, I'm analyzing my own game from last night. Um, eventually, what I'd like to do is set up rewards for people to get their games analyzed um, so I can work with you guys uh, to give back to the community. That's part of the idea. So you can... I believe everybody's getting currency. You should be getting cafe coins or something like that. And I haven't set rewards yet, but uh, the idea is going to be where you can cash those in and then schedule um, getting a game or I'll, I'll stream one of your games and I'll go over it and analyze it. And then maybe one of the top level ones will be actually I, I stream um, doing it with you so you can discuss with me. So it's actually more of a discussion together. Um, so that's the idea, but right now today is just, um, this last, uh, just my game. So, but yeah, that stuff's coming. 
I haven't put uh, any of the numbers around any of that stuff yet, but so idea being here and here, and then we have this check. So that's pretty nasty. Um, if he takes here, new variation, takes, takes, and takes, and I think at any one of these, um, I think this is winning for white. Um, so this is a n. This is an annotation, and then also a n. I think this is also better for white. So let's mark that as better for white. Um, knight takes d4 with, with e4 coming, and I think that's also better for white. This way, not so good. This is what I saw during the game, but I saw this stuff afterwards uh, working with a second. So I didn't consider some of these things. So. Um, Actually, after this, actually home and DG. Yeah, you're immediately attacking the center with tempo on that bishop. And in the middle of the board. Okay, so we got that, very good. Um, I think I got most of my things here after. I think I marked everything with And I think this is actually a good move. I think that's slightly better for white. I think this is better for white. Okay. He played um, queen to e7. So I took with the queen instead. Queen d2. Um, I need to mark this. Knight takes e4 or e2. All right, 
I will admit I had tunnel vision on playing d5 and I just could not I could not work out in my head um, what was best it just didn't work so okay okay um how are we doing here very good very good um, we got a little bit more time left let's continue on um, Queen to e7 I I'm also confused uh, by this move So a better move just would have been castle. And uh, maybe not that move, delete move after, delete remaining moves. And it's still unclear. Um, Still a game, right? I'm not sure. It's just it's weird. Um, I'm not sure why what the delay of castling is doing. Um, so d3, uh, pretty standard move in the Botvinnik setup, um, and being closer, he's trying to keep me out of e4 or sorry g5. Yeah, I, I think this is actually just a straight up mistake. Um, like, don't, like, don't play this, especially when I still have my bishop. Like, that's just nasty. Um, I played a3 as a waiting move to see what he was going to do, but also prepared, uh, played this. DG. So yeah, that's all right. So that's A N A N. Let's do this. This is D G. Okay, and. But yeah, I played a3, keeping him out of the uh, b4 square. Um, which doesn't really matter much. Um, it's not... You know, bishop b4 is not really a threat, so I'm not too worried about it, really. You guys can still see all my stuff? Yes. Okay, very good. And another, like, non-move move. So I, I really actually thought to myself, what is he doing? Because, you know, he can still castle and that bishop is still not doing anything. So 
So instead, maybe d6. Um, You know, I, I saw this as the normal continuation. I think this is better for white, but um, like I don't understand what he's what he's doing. He could have even put his bishop here, trying to take the knight. Um, I'm not Scott F two. Thanks for following. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what he's he's just kind of waiting. It just seems like he's he's waiting, not doing anything. Um, so um, here, I I was also struggling to not only not find a plan, but um, I had a bunch of plans. Uh, didn't really know exactly how best I wanted to handle this. Um, one of my thoughts was um, bringing the queen here or the king here so I can push f4. Um, just playing b4. And then I also saw this um, attacking the bishop. And because all of his dark squares are are sitting here not doing anything, um, I thought to myself, well, I'm just gonna see what he does. He's got to do something. If I if I challenge him, he's got to he's got to respond at some point. So enjoying these streams, I really like the CT art uh, chess circles one. Yeah, seven circles motivated me to start some motivated me to start something similar. So just looking at good tactics set. CTR is pretty much the one to, to get. Um, I, there might be other ones out there, but uh, I'm not familiar with them. CTR is really good to have. So We want the, the chat mob wants the puzzles back. Well, maybe the next stream we'll do some puzzles. I do like puzzles. So my, my main plan is I tweeted it out, um, and I actually have it saved somewhere chess training 2023 um you know what i'm gonna post this in chat and you guys can see what it is so there you go that's my plan from one to one two three four five whatever um so now you can see what we're playing and what we're doing um so yeah part of my plan is to analyze my own games so this is part of it but um we will be doing more more tactics for sure definitely CTR is great. It's a cool tool. Um, your analysis is impressive. Uh, way more involved than mine is, but I'm working on it. So thanks for the inspiration and guidance. You're most welcome. Um, you know, and I, I think I do an okay job, but there's guys out there that do even more than me. Um, I know Cry, um, he sits down with like a pen and paper. He's super old school. And I've done that before too, where like here, I got a notebook. I got it right next to me. I'll show you. This is what Cry does. Um, let me get... Where's my notes here? So, yeah. Um, I have a, a, a notebook here with notes. Um, video about analysis. I've got two or three pages of notes. And I made it to move eight. Yeah, I made it to move eight, and I've got three. <laughs> I've got. I started page three on move eight. <laughs> so, yeah, it's. I find this to be a little bit faster because I can type faster than I can write. Um, there is something to be said about actually using a pen and paper and moving the pieces on the board. Um, that can help solidify things in your brain better. Um, so I do that. I try to do that a couple times a year and really sit down and, and dive in. And then I'll take that analysis and put it into a digital format um, just so I can keep some of the old school methods kind of solidifying 
what I'm doing on the digital space. So, so yeah, I had all these ideas um, here, and uh, Bishop E3 was the first thing that came to mind, really, um, challenging the bishop. And um, oh, actually, hang on, I need to put DG. Let me keep my habits. Um, and I had a few other ideas here, but figured I can trade off the DSB, dark square bishop. So my idea here was I wanted to trade this bishop off um, and get this structure. And it happened. It worked. And um, that way I can control all the dark squares. That was my idea. Um, and I, I felt that this was pretty good because b4 is coming. Um, my plan comes to fruition. And you know, B4, uh, B4 and F4 are coming. And for me, I think that this is better for white. I don't want to derail your stream with too many questions, but what are you using for analysis here? Uh, I'm using I'm using chess base. Um, I have chess base nine. Chess base nine, so I have a, they're on seventeen. I have a very old version. I do need to upgrade it, but what I have now works for what I need to do, and I honestly don't even use. Um, I don't even. I probably don't even use uh, ten percent of all the features. <laughs> yeah, I I need to get chess base seventeen. Uh, it's much more. It has a much newer interface, and it looks much better. And I believe there's a lot better connections to cloud instances and cloud databases and stuff like that. I just don't have it yet. Uh, but it's on my list of things to to pick up. Um, maybe when we reach Twitch affiliate and I get a couple subs, some of those subs can help me pay for getting chess base 17. That would be sweet, right? <laughs> That's the idea anyways. Um, not that I can't afford it. It's just uh, if I already have it, uh, I find it hard to want to spend that money to buy the new version when my old version is still working. To me, it just doesn't, uh, it's financially doesn't make a whole lot of sense unless I have the extra income to do so. Um, but I, I'm good and happy with what works, so. I was doing a lot of my analysis in, um, I started on chess.com um, and I didn't like how libraries work and I still don't and then I started doing a lot more with pen and paper, old school, and then somebody showed me the Lee Chess Studies, and I was like, oh, this is cool, and I really liked how that worked. This is great. Oh, I can make a video here. This looks really awesome. And then when I started streaming, I got to the point where it just didn't, Lee Chess doesn't work well for streaming because you have a limited box and you can't see, like you can see all my notes here. In Lee Chess, you don't get to see all of it. so. Like I can scroll down and you can see all of my stuff. In Lee Chess, it my box is limited and then you can't see what I'm writing, which is kind of a bummer. And we're near the end of this anyways. But um, it, and then when you use your mouse wheel outside of this, the chess board, it actually moves the window uh, the, for the, the website, which doesn't work when you have, you want to keep it still for streaming. So, um excuse me, I had to find a better way and chess base just makes more sense. So I dove in and we're figuring out more and more chess base stuff. So maybe we'll get an updated version soon, but uh, all right. Finally, he castles. 
Um, but is there an, any other way? I did um, I did consider this new variation, um, DG. Uh, I found this to be an interesting move, but um, did, uh, let's see, honestly, not put much thought into it. So, um, I'm gonna say it's unclear, and then um, I found this to be an interesting move. Don't know if it's good, don't know if it's bad, I really have no idea. Um, I saw it, I wanted to make sure I made a note of it. Um, I felt like being able to play F4 was better, so So instead of that, um, queen takes better. Finally, castles. I need to put a note here. Finally. <laughs> um, I feel like it's a bit late, though. Maybe... It uh, maybe it was better just to stay in the middle of the board. I really don't know. It's, it's unclear what was a better move. Um, So a lot of, um, my other option here was to play b4, but I didn't want to commit to that side because his pawns were so unstable. Um, Also, excuse me, uh, my knight on c3. Dumb question. Um, no dumb questions here. We take all the questions and whatever we need to help clarify, we can. So um, no dumb questions at all. I was going to give you a sub to help with uh, CB17 fun, but I don't see a sub button. It is usually where it is, but I'm not a Twitch affiliate yet. That's what this stream is about. So after this stream, I should reach Twitch affiliate and the sub can come later. Um, so I don't actually have a sub button yet because my channel is so new. Um, but that is the whole idea of today because I've reached 50 followers and I just need to reach seven streams. And this is the seventh stream. So after this stream today, we will no, undoubtedly um, get the Twitch affiliate. So um, it's on its way, it's on its way. So we're moving in the right direction, which is fantastic. Well, I really appreciate that, Scott, that's awesome. Um, any Anything you can help with is amazing, I'm super grateful. I do this to help the community, so I'm not looking for monetary value, really. Everything that I'm doing is trying to help chess improvers, like all of you guys get better at chess, because I've got knowledge to share, and I feel as though I can help anybody that's underneath me. So um, I've got a long, long time of experience that can help. I might not be the best player in the world, but I feel as though I can help anybody that's looking to improve that's lower rated get to where I'm at. So um, yeah, F4. Uh, I did consider B4 here, um, but I just, I didn't, new variation. I just, this was kind of unclear to me. Um, uh, 
yeah so I'm just gonna mark this as unclear and you know I did see it right away but uh, I lost protection of my knight not that it can't be protected right away you know I can always move it I just I don't like pieces not being defended um, so I felt f4 was the best move in the position um, so I played it and d6 so I was you know when I played f4 I was really expecting him just to take um, I didn't expect him to play d6 because I'm not I, I have no intentions of of taking here um, dg um, that'll centralize his queen you know um, and I, I just don't like don't think that's a good idea um, queen takes or pawn takes So yeah, I felt that um, d6 was fine, but I, I really have no intention of taking. Um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna press on and pressure his kingside. Um, So yeah, pushing f5 and pressuring the king side um, is, is a typical plan in the Bothanic, and I really like it. So um, I'm getting close to wrapping up. It's almost one o'clock. My lunch is going to be over pretty quick here. So it's kind of a quick stream. I know we didn't have a lot of time. Um, one hour is not a lot of time to put into a, a postmortem, but. Just for the sake of finishing the stream, um, I want to show you guys how it kind of ended. I'll do the other annotations. Maybe I'll stream some more um, later, but I want to show you the game. So my obviously threat here is pushing g5, going after the knight. And if he decides to take, he's opening up his king and I get my queen in there. And then I have some rook ideas. And um, idea being he wants to bring his knight here um, or bring his queen to h4 and I stop all that and he played f6 which to me was another odd move because now he's taken away um, uh, a square for his knight now his knight is completely trapped and it cannot move without um, maneuvering pieces which is not good uh, if he ever comes to g5 I can I always have the option to kick it away but it's not doing anything even on g5 because it's stuck it, just my pawn structure is controlling the knight so much. So I thought, okay, now it's time to strike in the, you know, on the queen side, open up the file and get these traded. And um, he develops. So if I trade, he gets the open file. I said, well, I'm getting my queen out here to control this. And he's struggling he's just moving his pieces back behind I think he doesn't really know or have a plan on how to progress and um, I thought for sure he would take here but he didn't and um, he continues on doing whatever he's doing in the back trying to I, I believe he's trying to protect b7 uh, because now I control the file and he got off of the file he just let me have it which to me was weird um, 
I don't know why he didn't just trade, but so now I'm really going to control and come after B7. Um, I've got other ideas here and here. Um, the knight can come in. Uh, the knight can come, whoops, uh, here and then here. It, it lo it's looking really not good for black. Um, so he protects, and I came here. And I, I set this tactic up. The tactic was set up here, um, hoping that if he plays queen to a6, um, uh, after takes takes. So... He didn't play it, and I'll put that in my annotations later. But um, I played here, and maybe I'll give you guys a minute. Maybe you can spot the tactics and how the game finished. Um, if you can, go ahead and say in the chat. I'll give you guys a minute. There's a, a big tactical shot here. Maybe you guys can see it. He blundered. I know you guys can't see my analysis, but uh, I could probably move. Actually, if I move that up, uh, let's move that down. There you go. So whoopsies. Well, you guys got to see the kind of moves. I did have it hidden, but you guys can kind of see the answer. Apologies for that. But um there we go, queen to b6, and I played c5. And uh, we can mark that move at the end as a white is winning, and that's a double x glam. Uh, this move is a blunder. That's a capitalization on the double x glam. And this is white is completely winning and he resigned here with a sweet tactic because he put me in check and then I got out of check by attacking his queen and putting him in check at the same time. This is one of the sweetest tactics that I've I've played over the board, which is, is pretty cool to see. I don't think he saw this. Um, he, he I actually I know that he didn't see it. He mentioned to me he's like I had I didn't see that at all. He's like, I saw putting you in check and then taking the B-pawn. <laughs> That's what he saw. So, well, friends, I hope you've enjoyed this live stream. Thank you for coming. All of you that were a part of it have helped me reach Twitch affiliates. So thank you much. And um, I do appreciate all of your guys' uh, support and watching the videos and hanging out with me on stream. It's great when you guys participate in chat. It helps me uh, be able to commentate easier. It's not always easy just to commentate when I'm looking at my own stuff, but I do like to interact with all of you. So thank you so much. You have all my links. Please like and share on all those faithful sh favorite social medias. It is super helpful. And um, I'll put this video up as soon as I can on YouTube, and you guys can watch the playback. So thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day.